there are some causes that are too great to stop fighting for. Alberta's Nellie Carlson knew this well. She spent decades battling for rights for Indigenous people. Her sheer willpower was her greatest weapon. In the wake of her passing this week, Jamie Dahl looks at Carlson's remarkable journey. It's pretty hard on me and pretty hard on the children too, I imagine, because she was the head person. <laughs> She had a grade 8 education, was a residential school survivor, a champion for change. She was a um, little dynamite with a real uh, sense of humor, a, wit, a ready wit, um, fun to be around. But she really, when she says something, she means it. Nellie Carlson passed away at the age of 93 in Edmonton on Thursday. Her legacy as long and as full as the life she lived, as was her humility. What did I do? Yeah. This was just only the journey of my life, what I did. It didn't cost me nothing. But it sure made a massive impact on so many lives. Nellie was Cree, and 73 years ago, she married a Métis man, Elmer. In doing so, she lost her Aboriginal status. When we first married, that was uh, about two weeks later, she said she got a letter from the government telling her she was no longer an Indian, <laughs> which hurt her very much, you know, yeah, really hurt her. And she fought for her status for the next 17 years. The mother of nine never stopped fighting. She was instrumental in changing the Indian Act and restoring Indigenous rights to generations of women. Her fortitude inspiring many, and this Edmonton school on sacred Indigenous land bears her name, keeping her legacy alive. The kids loved having her here. She stood up for equity, for equality, for human rights. She stood up for the rights of women in general, and she was also very committed to the whole idea of education. Carlson was honoured to have a school named after her. And she leaves this message for all those young minds inside. I hope that uh, they were they are going to be blessed with good ideas. It was an idea, I guess, maybe that I really had in my head that I just used it. Jamie Dog, Global News, Calgary. And that is Global National for this Sunday. I'm Robin Gill. We leave you tonight with a tribute to Terry Fox. Google is running a special illustration depicting him during his Marathon of Hope in 1980 when he set off on a run across Canada to raise money for cancer research because of his own fight with bone cancer, which led to his leg being amputated. Four months into his fundraising effort, Fox had to stop because the cancer had spread to his lungs. He died the next year. Today marks 39 years since the first Terry Fox run was organized in his name. Thank you for watching. Donna Friesen will be back here tomorrow, and I'll see you next weekend. Have a great night.